welcome to my narrowboat tour. This has been my project boat for about two years now and it's quite a difference from what it was when I bought it. There's a video from when I bought it on YouTube if you'd like to see it. So I'm just going to walk through first and then describe all the things I've done to it on the way back. <coughs> so I've made my own cratch and cover and at the moment this time of year it's basically the wood store. I've added a curtain and I've tidied up the steps use your storage in. So we've got a little wardrobe area and that's where I keep locks and kindling inside. I've put in a Huawei router with the aerial on the top. This is a pull-out sofa bed with storage underneath. The fire I had to replace. It's um, very rusty. And the tiles I had to rip out as well because there wasn't any fireboard or an air gap which I've added. So it's now up to spec. Made my own TV and bookcase with space at the bottom for bottles of wine and rum. I've replaced all the bulbs with LEDs. I've got a fold out table, some very comfy metal chairs another little drinks area a little rum hatch I've replaced all the cupboard doors with some rustic ones I made myself I'm hoping to make some nicer ones at some point but I like them. There's a new fridge freezer which is a converted one from the chap at Planar Heaters used to do them but I think he stopped now. Placed all the wood on the hatch because it was soaking. It used to leak terribly. Which is very nice now on a summer's day. I did all the cladding on the roof. Replaced the roof panels because they were horrible. And when I painted it, there was too much blue, so I cladded the side there. I thought it would look quite nice contrast. Cassette toilet. I put the towel rail in. So I've got a heated bathroom if it's cold. Replaced the shower, because that was leaking everywhere. This board is a board I made so it can be added to this area. It rests on there so we can actually turn the mattress around and have it long ways so it's easier to get out of when there's two of you. And I made some little bedroom lights and sockets. Hit the way under there. 
like a little down lighter with a shelf. There's plenty of storage under the bed. And chlorifier keeps under there. And I've actually done the bed so it'll hinge up in the middle if you need to do any work on the piping. Just wait for the boat to go past. And lastly, it's a little storage area and coat, wardrobe type area with some shelving. And a place to keep the boots. Aldi boiler. about it. If there's anything I've missed, any questions, please give me a shout.